Hello everyone, this is Crystal from TidbitsOfExperience.com and I get asked quite often what do I use for my adult coloring hobby that I do and I wanted to go over some of the books and some of the coloring utensils that I use for the adult coloring hobby that I have. So to start off with we'll just go through the books real quick. The first book is the Mystical Mandala Coloring Book. I like this book because it's ideal for me but it's also nice for my kids because it's not overly detailed on every page. So I'm just going to show you some of the images that are in it. As you can see they're really nice. It's a nice book to have on hand. If I can move a little faster, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, it would be nice to me. How about that? Okay. So, as you can see, this is a really nice book that has not too many details in the images, but they're detailed enough that it's for an advanced color. Okay. My next book is The Mandalus Coloring for Artists. This one has a bit of a mixture. It has some detailed coloring pictures, like this one here, but yet it has some fairly easy ones like this one. So if you want an artistic view from all different ages, basically in a way, you could really enjoy this one. Now as you can see, none of these are really colored in, and it's not because I don't use them, it's actually because I take them and I copy them and then I basically have family challenges on who's going to make the prettiest picture. I like that picture a lot. And I also count it as part of my kids art because I'm not arts and crafty at all really but when it does come to this I enjoy it. We have the meditation coloring book. It has some hard and easy ones. Can you tell I like the mandalas a lot? <laughs> that seems to be an overall trend for me. Okay, you can see it has some really nice pictures in it. Okay, then we have the Living Wonders color art for everyone. Now this one my kids love. They love this one because it has the animals in it. Like the dog, the butterflies, the elephants, the fish, the owls, horses, more elephants. But the primary reason I got this book is because of that picture right there. That's the whole reason I got this whole book. <laughs> but my ultimate favorite book for coloring has become this 2016 coloring calendar because it can count as my to-do list page book and I can also get an excuse to color every day and I like the fact that it has the month before and the month after for me on each page so it makes it easy to make some plans but I did quickly learn that my coloring utensils that I use which I'll go over in just a minute did bleed through on this page so I had to start using paper in between for each day okay but as you can see there's plenty of room to write to-do list at the top and the bottom and then again the dates the months and for a busy person like myself I don't always get the chance to color every day unfortunately but this is one book I will be coloring in because it's mine and I've considered doing it and just using this book instead of for my to-do book but more like a memento of all the good things that happened on each day and just write down some memories to make and just count it as like a journal that I can pass on to somebody as my kids when they get older they can remember some of the fine things that happened on each day or it could be a gratitude book that way you can look back and see what you were grateful for on each day to remind yourself what made you happy and see on the weekends there's still room for to-do lists but it's not overly encompassing as it is on that and there is a picture for every day of the year. 
and there's room to write on every day of the year. And if this is something that you want to do every day, I mean, if you really have the time to detail color, you could have a blast with this book. You know how some people take crossword puzzles and do them every day and take time out of their day to do that? Well, if you take time out of your day to do this, this is your primary book because it covers all likes and it's not that expensive at all. Okay, that's my favorite book for the coloring world. Now to talk about the coloring utensils. I have a bunch. And I mean a bunch. <laughs> and I'll share those links with you as far as which ones I got and which ones I didn't get. Okay, my favorite thing to really use has to be these Sharpies. Might help I turned it around for you. Alright, Sharpie Pernament Markers. I usually get the Ultra Fine Point and they come like this with different colors in them. And the colors show up bright. In fact, I'll show you one of my pictures. If you are following me on Instagram, you can clearly see that one. But this is one that's done with a Sharpie and some gel pens, but mostly Sharpies. Okay, this is another one that's mostly Sharpies. That's actually made with... Where are they? These type of gel pens. Right here. Can you see the bright coloring? With them and the neon colors and the orange. Yes, I'm like a little kid. Please look at my kids. Look at my toys. Look at my toys. And see, I got some new color gel pens that I've never seen before that actually have different colors in them. See, you can see the blue and the purple and the green, and it changes as you're going down the pen. I thought that was really, really cool. Crazy enough to think. Okay, but if you follow me on Instagram, you can see my different pictures because I do post them from time to time on my Instagram. In fact, I'll pull that up for you, Instagram, so that you can find me there and you can follow and join me in on the fun, and you can tag me at Crystal Green underscore green patchy one with all your artistic pictures. I would love to see them. A little more. See, you can see I do them, it's just in spurts when I have a chance to do them. Okay, so thank you for turning, tuning in and I hope you enjoyed learning about these different um, coloring books. Again, my favorite is the 2016 coloring calendar. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in, and this is Crystal from TidbitsofExperience.com, and I hope to see you visit us there as well. Have a great day.